You guys have made some changes since we had a chance to chat at the yeah. scouting combine. <laughs> no doubt. Are you happy with the changes? Yes, very happy. Yeah, it's been really good. I was going to say, you bring in guys like Keenan Allen and Byers, and it hopefully makes your job easier. Yeah, it really does because you know when you talk about bringing in those skill sets, you know, to be able to have DJ on one side, Keenan on the other, and then you know the, add the tight ends, you know, with Everett, and then really Cole, and then Swift. You know, that's a, that's a hard cover for a defense, you know, to be able to, in situational football and first and second down, in the red zone, it's going to be uh, fun for us to be able to put that together and put those guys in the right spots. Coach, we had a chance to talk to Ryan Poles yesterday, and he, he shared with us that he drove to your home. You guys called Justin mm -hmm. about the trade. How tough was it to make that phone call? Yeah, we thought that it was important for us to do that together and uh, to call Justin. So he came over to the house and it was, it was difficult, you know, it's, you know, cause we obviously care for Justin uh, a lot and um, he's put a lot of time and energy into, into the franchise. And so we wanted just to tell him that how much we appreciate him, you know, for that effort and for everything he's put into the Chicago Bears uh, since he's been here. And uh, he was also appreciative of, of us and you know, of the support we gave him. So. You know, at the end, end of the day, we thought that, and they thought that was the best spot for him, uh, you know, for his future, and uh, we wish him the best. Man, there's a human element that's part of this business that we forget, right? Yeah, I mean, you, you, when you think about it, you have to, you can't be a robot, and you have to connect uh, to people, and it's important that we do that this year. You know, I'm most excited about April, April 15 when we bring the players back in to start that process with our new football team. You know, and then we'll add some draft picks after that and, uh, and go from there. Let's go back to the 15th because the other thing that Paul said yesterday was he's amazed with the relationships that you build with your players. How do you do it and why to you, what have you learned, Coach, over the years of being in this business? Why have you learned that it's so important? Yeah, so the, the, the process of it is just being authentic. You know, being authentic, being real, uh, you know, being vulnerable sometimes, uh, and then really being intentional about, you know, working through that and giving it the time, you know. So what we'll do is we'll go through a process positionally, uh, you know, unit-wise, offense, defense, and then we'll start to mix the groups and we'll spend 30 to 40 minutes every day the guys are in the building working on relationships. You know, we say it's important and everybody says that, but they don't give it the time. So I think that's important. And, and, and why you do that is because your team will be tight and, and they'll, when adversity hits, which adversity is going to hit, is that then they'll be able to pull through it together um, because of those relationships. All right. Your reaction when Ryan tells you, hey, listen, we're going to get six-time Pro Bowler Keenan Allen. <laughs> it was, I, was, I was in the kitchen at my house, and I screamed. You know, and I was like, yeah, like that. And uh, Kelly goes, what is wrong? I said, well, I said we just got Keenan. And so we were all excited uh, at the house there that evening because it happened, you know, what, 9.15? It was so. late. I was, yeah. yeah, I was literally in the middle of yeah, a newscast. So super excited about it. And, uh, you know, I've had a couple coaches that have, have coached him that I know. And uh, everything they say is, is, is exactly what it is. So it's exciting to have him. Teacher, 32 years old, been in the league long enough, will be great for a rookie quarterback, correct? Absolutely. He's going to be great for the football team. You know, because he is an alpha competitor, and he is going to bring it every single day, and that's why he's had some, you know, so much success. All right, what stood out in the workout? Not not only the workout. What stood out in the three days you spent at USC with Caleb Williams and his teammates? Yeah, and I think Ryan said it the other day, and he's right. You could feel the uh, the effect that he had on that on that program, and the love from the, the staff members, the players, everybody that touched him and the respect they had for his work ethic. And, and you could feel that. And he's a football guy, and uh, that's what we got from that uh, pro day. Are you excited to bring him back? And when you bring him back, the first week of April, mm -hmm. what will you do with him? Yeah, it's, it's more about you know, uh, continuing on the process. You know, so we'll, we'll do some more football um, and, and, and go that way, and also relationship. You know, just keep building that you know, relationship, see where um, he is, and then Get him around some other offensive coaches. You know, I think that's, that's important, the guys that weren't there. Coach, it's your locker room. A kid of his caliber, 22 years old, great success on the collegiate level. We know about, you know, what he's been able to earn through nil. Do you, it's your locker room. Do you worry about him fitting into your locker room? 
Well, Ryan and I talk all the time about, you know, uh, onboarding players. You know, how do we bring guys, because we've had two years of foundation now, and this is going into our third year. How do we onboard the free agents, you know, and how do we do that as well with the draft guys that are in the NIL and all those things? So we're always having conversations of that. Um, I'll spend 45 minutes to an hour with each guy in my office talking to them about their journey and talk about, you know, where we've been, you know, the first two years here so they know the foundation of how we work, how we prepare, and how we do things in the building. So it's important that uh, we do that process uh, with every guy. You had a chance to talk to him. Does he love ball? He lo yes, no question. He loves football. You can you can feel that, um, you know, with his uh, process and how he goes about his business for sure. All right. The team has a second pick in the first round as well. Number nine, you're a defensive guy. Will you stand up and say, hey, I need a pass rusher? Or will you say, hey, if a, if a great receiver is there still or a left tackle, you're willing to go that direction as well? Yeah, so the process we're going to go through now is being able to, you know, take those critical positions, you know, break off into some teams and small pods and be able to rank those guys. And then, um, then we'll look laterally across the board and see, see who that, how they rank against each other. And uh, then we'll make the best decision for the Bears. I think the, what we've done in free agency has enabled us to have flexibility with that ninth pick. So we'll be able to flex and move to take the best player that, that we can take there. With the moves of Allen and Swift, and now you've got center taken care of as well, do you feel better about your offense today before the draft? Yeah, no question. Ryan and his staff have done a wonderful job, um, you know, getting those things done. And it's important that you add the skill set you know, because you're, you're going to have a young quarterback in there. And the more weapons you can have around him, um, the better he's going to be. Coach, team won seven games last year. How much better is this football team today? Yeah, you know, like I said, at the end of the season, you know, five and three in the last eight games, you know, we were plus 12 in the turnover margin. Um, you know, so a lot of positives there. Um, in terms of, of our team learning how to win. And uh, again, this is going to be a new football team, and uh, we'll start that process April 15th.